Hi, I am Dr. Lee. This section is for understanding the incision techniques of breast augmentation surgery. There are many who think deeply about where to do the incision for breast augmentation. I think it is good that the patients have various choices for incision in breast augmentation. We can apply the method that the patient wants almost all the time. Those who prefer inframammary do so because they are afraid of the pain. Those who prefer the axillary do so because they want to hide the scar that may be caused. Those who prefer perioreolar do so because they want to avoid both the inframammary and axillary incision. Tuba is selected because the patients want the incision to be done at a spot that is far from the breast. All these incision methods are good that have been proven over time. Most patients can get the incision that they want. But one cannot in special situations. Let's look at these special situations. This is the images of an open inframammary fold. Incision on the inframammary fold for such breast would expose the scar. But if the inframammary fold is closed, it is hidden, therefore, you do not have to worry about the scar. Let's look at another example Sagging breasts. Breast tissues have sagged much. You need to apply dual plane breast augmentation in order to fix this. But if you approach from the armpit, it is difficult to make contact with the breast tissue due to the muscle on top. On the contrary, perioreolo or inframammary fold techniques are perfect due to the direction of the dissection is ideal for dual plane. Here is another example. It is a constricted breast over the tuberous breasts. When a tight implant enters the breast, you need to spread out the bottom breast tissue. Inframary fold incision is the best method to spread out the bottom breast tissue. If you want both breast augmentation and areolar correction, then the best method would be perioreolar incision. Same applies when you do breast lifting through the areola. You need to remove the original inframary fold if you want to fix asymmetric breasts caused by asymmetric inframary fold or areola. What are the advantages and disadvantages of each of these incision methods? The scar on the armpit can be hidden when conducting the axillary incision and the muscles both on top and bottom can be discommated. But there is no direct visual, therefore, the surgeon needs to use the endoscope which leads to high costs. Also, it is difficult to use large polyurethane foam stable implants. If you need a secondary surgery for correction, we might have to apply another incision on other spots. Perioreolar incision provide good direct visuals, therefore the augmentation would be more accurately conducted and there is less chance of damaging important nerves and vessels. It can also be simultaneously conducted with lifting. The advantage is that it is not satisfying for those who are concerned with scar around the areola. Also, the size of the implant is limited to the size of the areola. And there is also a possibility of infection. Inframary fold incision is quick, accurate, and has direct visual. The patients feel comfortable after the surgery and dual plane or any other plane methods can be applied. The disadvantage is that the scar is exposed if you have opened the inframary fold. Also, you need to decide on the new location of the inframary fold before the surgery.
If you ask what is the best incision method for me, I would answer, first we need to analyze your body and braces.